Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the most exciting time of the year and not the holidays, it is even better. It is the Majuri Black Friday sale, okay? This sale happens once a year, so I do not take this event lightly. It is very serious for me. This is your once in a, I guess I was gonna say lifetime, but kind of. Once in a year opportunity to save money on all the pieces that you guys have been eyeing. A little bit about the sale. The sale is 20% off your entire purchase, but there is a minimum spend. Just a few call outs for Canada and US, you have to spend $150. And in this economy, also spending $150 with the US people, all right, okay. But anyway, I will leave the entirety here if you are from a different country outside of Canada and US but this is your minimum spend in order to get the 20% off. Otherwise, the sale will be ending on November 28th. So make sure you pick up your goodies for the sale this year and save yourself some money so you can use the extra money to buy more jewelry. So like I said, I do not take this sale lightly. So I've really thought long and hard about what to recommend and how to structure this video. So it will be as follows. And by the way, if you are new here, hi, my name is Lisa. I actually review a few Majuri products every single month. So you can check it out in my YouTube video along with some beauty products. And after a few months, I actually also constantly update my Majuri collection. So make sure you take a look at that as well. I have many, many Majuri dedicated videos. I also have a lot of tutorials on how to style your jewelry. So if you just want a little bit of an insight before you go ahead and purchase you can actually watch some of my tutorials there is one on how to start your jewelry collection I also have one on how I stack my rings how I stack my necklaces and so on and so forth actually the latest one was how I style mixed metal color jewelry all together so make sure you check those out especially if you are a little bit confused on how you want to get your jewelry collection started so for this year's Black Friday because I have now been reviewing Majuri products for maybe three years now so you know I have a lot of products so to condense that into a second year of Black Friday recommendations by the way if you want to check out last year's you can it's right here but it was even harder because I feel like I had to narrow down even more products so this is how the video is gonna go I'm gonna start by showing you my haul this year my haul this year is three thousand dollars compared to last year's seven thousand so last year's video definitely was a lot but this year 3000 is still a lot and I'm gonna go through the products I got and also some of the things I wish I did differently So you can also learn from your haul this year after that I'm gonna go through the must-haves what you need to buy Okay, because in one year there have been so many more new products new essentials new favorites So I'm going to be going through them You will also hear some repeat because some products are honestly just so worth repeating So if you are hearing me talk about some of these products for the second year in a row make sure you pay close attention if you are kind of eyeing it because genuinely if they made this list for the second year in a row you know I love it okay starting off with the haul the first item that I got was the herringbone necklace I am not gonna know every single name of every single product but I will try to remember because these products are still new to me I did just get these items in the mail a few days ago because Majuri had pre-sent me some of the items and I also want to thank Majuri for sponsoring this video as well for me to give you guys the ultimate Majuri guys. So like I said, the first item is the herringbone necklace and this necklace is really funny because last year there was a typo in the video and I feel like it caused this whole thing in the comment section. Last year I actually got the ser serpentine I think that's what it's called serpentine necklace and that one is in solid gold and I absolutely love that necklace not to spoil the rest of the video but you guys were super confused if I got that one or this one and this year I decided to get the herringbone necklace so initially I didn't get this necklace because this one is a lot thicker and it is gold vermeil and I tend to like the solid gold items so I don't have to take it off when I shower swim sweat go to bed, you know, etc. But this year, the reason why I got convinced to get this necklace is because a lot of my friends said that they really love this necklace and they almost treat it like solid gold, even though it's not. They said they keep it on all the time. It hasn't ever, you know, tarnished on them. So I really wanted to give it a try because as much as I love my serpentine necklace, I hope I'm saying this right. As much as I love that necklace, it is really thin. So this one is a little bit more statement-y. So I wanted to give that a try and I 
I'm gonna review this and you guys can stay tuned for the review video at the end of November. The next three items I got are three rings. I actually got another ring, but this is like the big item of the haul, so I'm gonna talk about that one a little bit later. But these are the three rings I got. Like I said, I do not remember the names exactly. I know that this one is a new design. I just really, really like how dainty this ring is. I'm gonna just put it on for you. It is just so dainty. Immediately when I saw this, I just knew that this would make a really, really great stacker ring. The way that it is designed, I just feel like it is so cute. It kind of looks like rope a little bit and it's very dainty. I've been really liking a lot of dainty products again recently. I feel like I've just been I don't know going to like a lot of hot places and my fingers swell up And I just feel like all my rings start feeling really tight So I feel like the dainty ones are the only ones that kind of like make me feel super comfortable still So anyway, I really like this ring which is why I got it and once again I will review it this month and let you guys know the second item I got is the baguette open ring If you are not a new watcher, you guys know that I am absolutely in love with the baguette line but they came out with a green version which by the way you can check out there's a couple of other green products but this is the design besides the color this is the one design I this is the one design I don't have, which is in the baguette open ring, which is what this looks like, which I feel like this just looks so cute. And we all know that green is in this year. So I just really, really wanted to get this because yeah, I just wanted to add a little bit of color to my ring stack because as you can see, it is all very neutral. There isn't really a lot of color. So this is a little pop of color that I decided to get for myself. This next ring is actually a gold of Rumay ring. This one I actually just could not resist because of this little accessory here. I've never had a ring where there's an accessory that's just kind of like dangling on the ring, sort of like a pendant almost. This is the only gold vermeil ring that I got and I think it looks so cute. This is how I'm stacking it just right now on the spot. I think it's so adorable and I don't know, like I feel like a kid with it sometimes because I just feel like I'm like gonna play with it when I'm wearing it, like literally almost like a fidget spinner, but jewelry edition. So anyway, that's like my inner child coming out but this is kind of why I decided to get it. Okay, so the ring that I said that I got that is the big item of the year is the heirloom ring. And like I said, if you guys are not new here, you will know that this ring has been on my wish list for a really long time. And this red just absolutely speaks to me. It just feels like such a statement ring. Let me show you guys what this looks like. So this is what the ring looks like. It just looks so gorgeous. I think right now it's getting a little lost with all the other rings that are going on. So let me just take it off and try it on this finger. But when I got it and tried it on, I was like, whoa, I genuinely feel like royalty with this ring because look at this. Does this not look like I'm like an Egyptian queen and and like, I can just like also summon, maybe is it an Egyptian queen? I just feel like I'm some sort of like medieval royalty or something like that with this ring. Um, so I don't know. I just feel like this gives me a lot of boss lady vibes. This is now the updated ring collection right now. So those are the rings I got. The next two items that I got are actually the Pave diamond hoop earrings in large. And the reason why I got this is because you guys know if you guys have watched my video in the past. I really like hooping my hoop earrings with the same style, just very consistently up my ear. So I actually got the medium and I also got the small and I finally got the large because I got my third piercing. So now I'll have the small, medium and large. So I'm very excited to show you guys what that looks like. And I'm very excited to review this this month. The other items that I got in the earring category are actually hoop charms. So in the last year, Majuri has launched these new things called hoop charms, which I think are genius. Basically, there are these little charms that you can loop into the earring like the one that I just got and then it would be like this little dangly thing and you can just wear it together and it just basically almost makes it a different earring without having to purchase an entire new earring it's like you already have the earring so you just get this charm and it spices it up a little bit and it almost looks like you have another earring so here are the two mistakes that I kind of learned from my own haul the first one is if you are going to buy a hoop charm okay only one comes because I thought I was gonna get two of each style and I didn't just to make sure because in my head I'm always just like earrings are always like comes in a set of two or whatever the hoop charms they actually come individually so if you do want the symmetrical look make sure you do put two instead of just adding one to the cart because I had no idea and only one showed up so I was like oops my bad the second thing is I actually 
feel like if hoop charms are not entirely, you know, priority for you, I actually think that because it is Black Friday and as I was making, you know, the recommendations for this video, I realized it is Black Friday, okay? It is not time yet to spend on the smaller ticketed items. I feel like there will be a video for me that I will come out later early in December or mid December for a holiday guide but because this is Black Friday I feel like we should prioritize you know the higher ticketed items because it is 20% off it is a percentage off so you are saving more money in that way if you do have the higher price items make sure you prioritize those just for this time period because it only happens once a year it is a sale so prioritize that over something smaller like the hoop charms because you want to save your money on the bigger ticketed item. So I think that was the second thing that I learned from the hoop charms situation where I was like, honestly, like this is cute, but like maybe I should, this is not the time right now. Maybe I should, you know, have looked at more of the heirloom ring type of vibe type of items, just like how I did last year and I got this bigger ring. Not to say not to get the smaller items, but I'm saying if you do also have the bigger items, now is a chance to get it. You can get the smaller items or save your coin for the smaller items later in the year. It would be a little bit more of a strategic shopping style. Another item that I got in the haul was much needed. I actually got the large jewelry case in the color beige. This jewelry case, honestly, I don't know why I didn't get this earlier considering I do have a huge majority collection, but within this jewelry case, as you can see I already started using it but it has three different layers one layer is for rings and I also put my necklaces you can also put other things in there as well this is just kind of how I've been styling it the next section I use for earrings and bigger earrings and the last section I use for bracelets and necklaces so this has just been such a great jewelry case for me to own especially coming from a big majority collector this is definitely something to look into even if you're a collector isn't entirely majority it's just a really great jewelry case so I absolutely love it and make sure you check that one out especially if you also have a lot of jewelry items that being said I am gonna go into my recommendations now so keeping that in mind like I said there are so many majority items that I like and love I feel like I'm really 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 prioritizing the ones that I'm so obsessed with they might be a little bit more expensive but like I said if there was any time for me to talk about it it is for this video because you are saving money if you are once again looking for a more range of budget type of video that one is also coming in December but for the sake of this video I really 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 want to highlight the ultimate guide within my collection the very first category I want to go into it is probably one of my favorite jewelry categories of all time and that is rings this year the rings that I want to review starting with the first ring this is the pave diamond Charlotte ring this one I got from the majority Black Friday last year and I obviously didn't review it for the video because I had just gotten it but it has been a year and I am obsessed I am so obsessed to the point that my mom was obsessed and she borrowed it when I went back to Vancouver at some point and didn't give it back to me until months later so I finally have it back in my possession so many people last year DM'd me saying they ditched their cart and got this ring and just this one ring instead because they actually had a cart prepared but but then last year they launched this ring right before Black Friday so a lot of people had to adjust their shopping cart so this year is your chance if you did not get it last year if you you know just saw it and you weren't sure I absolutely love it I know a lot of people are worried about the diamonds falling off but if you know me or even follow me on Instagram you know my range of activities is not like super dainty and delicate like I'm literally out there surfing playing spike ball playing like a bunch of different sports I actually played volleyball with my bracelets on one time and I also work out every single day so that being said I keep most of my jewelry on and there's never been a problem so even right now all the diamonds in the pave section if you take a look at it all the diamonds are still attached and this isn't just for this particular ring it is for any of their pave diamond collections i'm actually really surprised because like i said i am not someone who is like 
just like lives their life like pretty cautiously. No, I'm like out there doing things and I use my hands a lot. Even my nails ladies know to give me like a thick, thick, thick layer of gel because I just use my nails so much and they used to break all the time. For someone like me, I am very surprised at the number of Pave Diamond items that I have that are still in perfect condition. So that being said, the next item that I really recommend and I recommended this last year is my most complimented on ring. Actually, sorry, it's now transitioned to this ring, but my most complimented on ring secondly is the Pave Diamond Signet Ring. So it is this ring right here. This ring only has the Pave Diamonds at the top part. So the bottom part is just this thin band, as you can see right here. This is probably one of my most complimented rings up until this one showed up. So I highly recommend it. It is time to get it. It is very easy to layer as well. It is also on the dainty side. So if this is a little bit too much statement for you, then I would definitely check this out. I layered this ring with this other one that I also got it within the last year. I forgot the name. I want to say it's like the eternal band or something like that. I just love this ring so much because of the texture. It is so unique. I love the crevices on the top. It just has such a unique feel. You can layer this obviously very easily. It is symmetrical all the way. So it is very, very, very easy to layer. And then the next few items I wanted to recommend is one from the baguette collection. So they have three baguette rings now, I believe. One of them is the OG, which is the baguette diamonds on the very, very top. But they recently came out with the baguette line where the diamonds are all the way around. So it has pushed the OG baguette ring to the side for me. I'm like, bye, I'm just kidding. I still have it because I have it in two different ring sizes. This one right here, the one that goes all the way around, it is for my ring finger because it is small. The other one I still use and wear. It is just not on my ring finger. It is on my fattier fingers. So if you guys are interested in having the diamond all the way around, they have that too. I'm adding that to the list because this is the one that I actually wear more often now than the OG baguette ring. The next item that I want to go into is the Pave Diamond Thin Dome Ring. This one is also so beautiful. Like I said, the diamonds have not come off and it has been a long, long time. I also want to call out how I stack this. This is probably my favorite stack of my hand that I never change compared to some of the other ones I will always change. I have the baguette diamond ring. Then I have the open diamond ring, which is right here. So it's just sitting here in the middle and it is being sandwiched by another diamond ring, which is the Pave Diamond Thin Dome. And these three together are just so, so, so pretty. The next two items I want to recommend, one of them I feel like everyone is sleeping on and I don't know why because when I went on the website to look for it, I didn't realize how little reviews there are of this ring, but this is probably one of my favorite favorite rings of their entire ring collection. This ring, first of all, not only is it so gorgeous, but also it is extremely comfortable. So this is a ring that I'm talking about. It has all these like little circles and diamonds all over. I'm just so obsessed with this ring and it is extremely, extremely comfortable on my finger. I just love how the circles are placed and it is such a dainty, perfect, it is like almost a perfect wedding band, I wanna say. Actually, I don't know much about wedding bands because whatever, not that I'm looking. It looks so pretty even alone and it's very simple but very elegant and I can just see this being a piece that will be timeless and just never ages. The one that I layered it with is another one I really like. This is the Diamond Lines Ring and I actually got this in white gold. I've been playing around with a lot of white and yellow gold as you can see from my video where I styled the two different metal colors. So if you guys are confused on how to do it or if you have questions on how I do it, I answer it in that video. But this one I layered actually with the white gold and I think that the combination looks really 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 pretty as you guys can see here so definitely recommend those two and while we are on the white gold train i just also want to say this year if you saw my last video you will know i already do this but one of the rings i always recommend is the beaded ring for your thumb. This ring is also extremely affordable, by the way, compared to the rest of their collection. This is in solid gold. I actually never take this off. Like when I do a little bit of weights in the gym, I will take all my rings off because it's really hard to grab the weights 
with the rings hitting the bar but the one that I actually just never take off is my thumb ring and this is the solid gold beaded ring which I showed you guys last year I'm like you need to get this for your thumb it is so cute but this year I got it a cute little roommate so I got this in the white gold and now look there's two of them on my thumb and it is just so so cute I never take these two off they just look perfect together you know they're like Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds or maybe they're more siblings I don't know whatever you know what I mean the next ring that I wanted to talk about actually very very much surprised me because it is actually a pinky ring but I just feel like because I'm a non-engaged non-married woman my fourth finger on my left hand is quite lonely and there's just like a like I can't put anything on there I feel like that's a curse so I'm just like this just kind of looked empty to me so I'm like, wait, why don't I style the pinky ring? And then so I got the pinky ring in the Charlotte Signet style. This is what it looks like. I just feel like it is so stylish. I feel like it's one of those rings or especially ring placements where if you have a ring placement on your index finger, it's like, yeah, whatever, like everyone does. But when you put it on your pinky, it's like, oh, stunning. Okay, like... Okay, a little bit new, a little bit, you know, so if you want to be a little bit stylish, I feel like it's like these little things that you can do that make people go like, okay, like that's different. Anyway, but it's different good. It's just so cute. And I would suggest that if you are going to get this ring to size down a little bit, because I guess actually, no, I think it depends on everyone's finger, but I just personally felt like what I thought my ring size was when I put it on, it was actually way too loose. So I recommend maybe sizing down or try that, or maybe get a measure or even try it on in the majority store before you get it. But the pinky ring is way easier to come off than any of your other fingers. Fingers, so that is just something to keep in mind the last ring that I want to recommend is this chain ring right here I feel like this one is super cute this is like the open chain ring and this ring I've always saw on their website and I was not expecting myself to like it that much until I saw it on someone so ever since I saw it I just feel like it looks so stylish so dainty very cute and yet statement tee at the same time it has this like contradicting like super stylish statement tee and yet it has that dainty feel and the last and most important thing is it is comfortable if you wear it in the winter and when you you know go out in the summer and your fingers swell up like a sausage you're gonna be okay that would be the ring so there you have it okay moving on to necklaces i actually have six necklaces for you like i said some new some are repeated because they were such staples the first one i want to recommend that is new is the paper clip necklace this one is from their collectibles line it is in solid gold and i am so shocked that this item made it onto this list only because when i first saw the pictures don't let the pictures fool you okay it looks huge and that's why i didn't get it or it didn't catch my eye in the beginning but because I ended up trying it after you guys asked me to review it so many times I finally got it and I'm so glad you guys told me to get it because it ended up being one of my favorite necklaces I have also gotten a lot of my friends to try this on because they were curious and one of my friends Leisha even borrowed it and she also loved it she like wore it for two weeks and then gave it back to me but everyone is obsessed with this necklace so first of all this necklace is like I said way daintier than you think this is what it looks like it is almost beating out the the boyfriend bold chain as you guys know I have loved that necklace for so long I feel like this is a little bit of the elevated version of that necklace and also the unique thing about this necklace is you can also wear it like this and put charms on it if you want to or you can wear it plain like me and you can even twist it around so it just looks like a plain chain necklace if you don't want to dangle or if you're not a fan of the class over here so that is the first necklace I wanted to recommend the second necklace I want to recommend is the chain the regular chain and this one is essential this one I recommend year over year because this is the one chain that you need for one of these just regular pendants so a lot of the times now you know Majuri sells these things separately you can buy the chain the chain that you like this is the one that I like personally and you can put your pendants with it and you can just buy the pendants separately which I love that option of a la carte because you know why buy like the same chains and the same necklaces over and over again you're 
doubling your cost for no reason. I actually love buying it separately. And I actually also love doubling down on styling. So there are actually three pendants that I really, really recommend, especially if you are a sucker for customization like I am. So I recommended this last year too. This is just probably one of my favorite pendants that they've ever made. It is the diamond initial pendant. This is what it looks like. I got it for the letter W for my last name because the L just looked a little too simple. I also have the circular engravable pendant, which already is in the letter L. This is the other pendant I wanted to recommend. So it's the two I'm wearing and this one right here. I feel like this one I recommend every single year. It is my first necklace from Majuri. And honestly, till this day, I will just never sell this. I would never give it away. I would never just get rid of this necklace. This is just such a staple in your jewelry collection. If you are starting a jewelry collection, this is probably my go-to recommendation. For the more elevated customizations, you can go for the diamond one, or more recently, they released a cursive option. And if you guys, like I said, have been following me for a while, you will know that I absolutely hate the letter L in just like type form because I think it looks way too boring. So when they came out with the cursive, the L just looked so pretty. Finally, an L that I love. So I actually decided to wear the two together so you can see the LW. These are my initials. I absolutely love this combination. I think it's so cute. Sometimes I also wear it with the W and the circular pendant. I got that idea from visiting the store last year and you can see that from my Majuri haul from last year, but this is just probably like my favorite, favorite pendants from Majuri ever. The next necklace that I must, must, must recommend to you. Um, once again, recommended this last year. This is one of my holy, holy grail items. I feel like this is actually the perfect gift for parents to their daughter or even like a boyfriend. It is the large diamond necklace. This is what the diamond necklace looks like. And this is once again, the large version. I have to say that because they also have a smaller diamond version. And honestly, I saw both in store and immediately, if you're even gonna get this, just go for the large. Do not even bother with the small because you can't see it, okay? Because when you look, you gotta go like, <laughs> like what's going on? No, just get the large one. It is so worth the investment. Like I can't even recommend the small one. Like, I'm sorry, I can't. Unless if it was like maybe shorter and you're just doing like, almost like a choker style, but like if it's gonna hang all the way down there, like do not bother with the smaller one, go for the bigger one. One thing is probably my favorite feature about this necklace. This one, you obviously have to get a chain because it is literally tied up to the large diamond. So it's not like a pendant like this where, you know, you can kind of like swirl it around. This one is stuck in its place. The good thing about this is that the clasp will always be behind your neck. You're not like trying to constantly just like, you know, Put, put this in place or whatever. So that is one of the reasons why I really, really like this necklace. And it just honestly looks super simple. Between the engravable necklace and the large diamond necklace, if you have the budget as a great starter piece, just go for the large diamond one if you have the budget. If not, this one is, oh, this is like, my go-to. The next necklace that I have to recommend is the one that I got last year during Black Friday. It is the Serpentine necklace. I've already talked about this. This is probably my favorite chain. It looks like you have melted gold on your body and who doesn't want that? You know, you might as well just like paint me in solid gold. But anyway, since you can't and you can't do that every day, <laughs> this is your other option. You can wear it as a necklace. It is so so, so, so pretty. Just to show you the difference, okay? This is in honor of last year's YouTube video. Just to show you the difference in size of chain, this one here is the serpentine and it is in solid gold. And this one that is bigger, is in gold vermeil. But I have been wearing the serpentine necklace for a year now and I just love it. I get so many compliments on it. Is it pricey? Absolutely. Is it worth it? I mean, how much does each compliment cost to you? Cause I thought it was worth it. Oh, another call out that I wanted to mention is if you do see me wearing the Serpentine, which is in basically like all of my vlogs from last year and some of my Instagram pictures, I got it in the smaller chain because I wanted a more choker look. It doesn't choke you like up here, but it is definitely shorter, kind of like this paperclip necklace right here. So there are two sizes. In case you wanna get the same one that I did, I believe I got the 16 inches, the shorter version compared to the longer one. The last necklace that I wanna recommend is actually 
another chain, but I recommend getting this in the 18 to 20 inches, or is it like 20 to 22 inches? Anyway, I will leave it on the side. It is the longer chain necklace. This is an essential in your jewelry collection, okay? And the pendant that I personally recommend whose style I love is the evil eye pendant. They also have a lot more statementy pendants out there that isn't like super dainty, like the ones that are more for like this part of your neck. This one is genuinely why I love it is because I like to wear it for the bottom part of my chest. So for this particular neckline, maybe not just because I, you know, you can see the two necklaces here, but especially my high neck options or even my turtleneck. I love putting this necklace over it. This is all in solid gold. So you never have to take it off. In fact, in the summer, even when I wear necklines like this, I just keep it on anyway. And it's a little bit hidden. It really doesn't bother anyone or, or me at all. I like to just like keep it on even when I shower, swim, etc. But this is just such a staple. I used to recommend the Zodiac necklace, especially the first one that I got was in Gold Vermeil. But the thing is, it is in Gold Vermeil. That is the only reason why I didn't recommend it. But there is actually a solid gold option now. So if you want that instead of this, you can also do that. But I believe the chain for the solid gold zodiac necklace is a little bit shorter but i want to emphasize on getting this length because i genuinely think it is a piece that can be styled across so many things that you wear like you just you need this okay a little bit pricey on the pendant but so 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 worth it okay moving on to the next category we are on to earrings i have so many earring recommendations it is insane so let's just start with the ones that i'm wearing right now the first earrings that i want to recommend are the oversized thin hoops you guys have no idea how obsessed i am with these earrings first of all they are way bigger in terms of actual size in terms of actual width and girth <laughs> You know what I mean? It is very thin. So you have that once again, what we're playing with, which is like the statementy yet dainty kind of vibe. This is just an earring that I'm obsessed with. Like, doesn't it look stylish, but it doesn't look overwhelming. I highly recommend, okay, these earrings. Another reason why I recommend these hoop earrings more than the other ones is because I feel like the other styles, for lack of a better word, are a little bit basic. Like, you can almost find it in any other jewelry brand, but these ones are truly, truly unique to Majuri. I shop jewelry a lot, and I just find that this is one of those pieces that you're just like, if you know, you know. Like, you just know that this is by Majuri. It is so cute. It is very light and very easy to take on and off. I extremely recommend. This one is definitely a new favorite of the year. The next one I want to recommend are the pave diamond bold hoops in size medium so let me kind of explain the journey of this within majuri majuri first started by making these bold earrings okay so they're just like very simple like bold earrings that hug your ear and they're absolutely essential for your ear because they're so comfortable it is like a statement hoop earring but because they're so small and they're in solid gold genuinely you can sleep with them leave them on and not feel a thing. This is how small and just like staple it is. Also suddenly it is so bright, but anyway. So the first thing is that they started with these earrings. Then they upgraded and put diamonds on it. So now we have the same earrings, but now with diamonds, okay? Then they put a pearl on it, which is what I also have. We keep adding, right? And the one that I am wearing in the middle section of my ear are the exact same earrings, but in the bigger size. So, if you have been a fan of this entire range, you will love as much as I do. You will love these ones. This is what it looks like. You can see it now with the pearl and then this one is the bigger size. So you can see the size difference. If you ask me, to pick one or two or whatever. I feel like as long as you have one in the collection, this is honestly just a staple. At this point, it is just up to your preference. I know some people really just like the gold simplistic look. So if you don't want the diamonds on it, just get the bold ones. If you like the simple with diamond, get that. If you are a pearl person, I would just get this one. 
and forget about all the other ones. If you're not a pearl person, obviously don't get it. And then if you want something a little bit more statementy, then get this one. I also sleep with these ones on this entire month. So I know that this size is, even though it looks bigger, it's still okay. So definitely give those a try within any of these collections. It is a must have for sure. You need this in your collection. The next two earrings that I wanted to talk about were just basically the younger sisters of the earrings that I just got. So like I said, I just got these pave hoop ones these ones how it's different is actually just in girth i hate that i'm using this word for jewelry but i genuinely don't know what else to use with i don't know because it's not size it's like size is like this this is like thickness okay maybe thickness is much better it's too late i've gone too far we're sticking with girth now okay so basically like I said, if you find that this one is too thick, the other one that is available are these ones. And like I said, I have it in small, medium, large, and I'm just literally going to loop it around my ear. And it just looks like I have a line of diamonds. And I think that is such a vibe. So I'm going to be doing that. I just want to call out something on the website though. Okay. Do not mess this up. There is a hoop earring that goes all the way around like so. Okay. So this one. They also sell the Pave diamonds in an open earring, like so. Do not get the open one, okay? Now that I have the, the ones that go the full way round, I regret those other ones because this one, first of all, it's not a stud in the back. I hate studs in the back. I just feel like it like traps my ear. There's no breathability and I don't know, like there's higher possibility of infection or pus or whatever. This one, your ear is like breathing so well. And then the second thing is because, because this goes all the way around, you can loop in hoop charms because with this one, you can't loop in a hoop charm. The, the minute you put a charm in, it'll just like fall out the other side. So if you are looking at those earrings, I'm telling you, do not get them. Get these ones instead because it is just so much more worth your buck because you can then also get the hoop charms and just play around with it. Speaking of hoop charms, because one month I had this one earring stack. So every single month I have a different earring stack. I guess this month will be this one, but every single month I have a different earring stack. And the one time I had this ear, this is the beams earring. Oh my god, never in my entire life have I gotten so many questions across Instagram, TikTok about my earrings. Nobody cared about my earrings before, but then suddenly with this stack. So what I did was I stacked this beams earring, then I put the hoop earring that I already talked about, and then I looped this long charm dangling like this. So this was on my second ear. So it looks like this. I had a hoop earring and it dangles with this charm. And then I had a threader on the other one, but they don't sell threaders anymore. Anyway, that was like the stack that everyone wanted to know about. So definitely also check out the beams earring or whatever it's called, because this is absolutely chef's kiss. One thing that I do want to mention, if you are debating between the two different earrings, personally, I do like the bold earrings for different reasons, but I also want to call out for the bold hoops. You cannot fit Wait, can you actually? Hold on. Yeah, you can. Okay, so I just want to call out that if you are debating between the bold hoops and the thin one, I also want to say that for the bold hoops, you cannot fit the hoop charms, okay? So if you think you're going to become a hoops charms girl, you're going to have to go with the thin ones and not for the bold ones. I do like it for different reasons. Like I said, this time around, I have all the bold ones on, so maybe you can get both. But if you're only getting one, that is just something I have to tell you guys to warn your future self you know if you think you're going to be a hoops charm person then this is me warning you okay the next set of earrings that i have to recommend is the collaboration with sarah harris i feel like this one comes as no surprise i recommended this last year as well this is the lynx earring so the top part you have the pavi diamond and the bottom part is another just like regular chain my earring alone not my earring stack i told you guys about which was my most frequently asked earring stack but this one is my most frequently asked ear ring a lot of people that have seen me wear these earrings have complimented on it and the reason i love it so much is actually for a few reasons number one it's solid gold very comfortable there's a lot of breathability 
I wear it all the time. I wore it all throughout Europe. The second reason is because it is so practical and it is very versatile. You can take the hoop off and just wear this alone and then wear just the top part alone like so and it is also a vibe. So definitely check that out. This is probably going to make my short list. So at the end of this haul, I'm gonna give a recommendation for each category. It is probably gonna kill me, but I will do it. The last earrings I want to recommend, once again, it is something I recommend every single year, is the pearl earring. These ones are actually not solid gold. These are gold vermeil, but these are probably my favorite statement earrings from Majuri. I have owned these earrings probably the longest out of any of the earrings that I am talking about and every year I continuously recommend it. Unless if you're not a pearl person, then okay, whatever. But these earrings look so good. They are the perfect statement earrings. They go with every like fancier occasion, just Oh, it is the one that I hope they never discontinue because it is just too perfect. The next earrings I have to recommend just to mimic the large diamond necklace vibes are the large diamond studs. These are the only studs you will hear a recommendation from me because like I said, as much as I do like a stud, it's not about the stud that I don't like. It is really about the backing. And so often I just want more breathability when it comes to my earrings. So the only stud I find that is worth it and timeless are the large diamond earrings. Like you just cannot go wrong. Like how can you go wrong with just a very simple diamond diamond earrings it is gonna last till the end of time so definitely get that one okay moving on to bracelets so for bracelets I have three recommendations the first recommendation I don't want to recommend this because obviously I know it is expensive but I promise you it is worth every penny and I am not the only person that says this everyone in the review section of this bracelet also agree this has an insane review it has 4.9 every time i wear this bracelet which is like almost every day i only really take it off for volleyball i only take it off for volleyball because i cannot risk it it's like it's too like i i can't you know and and i took it off for surfing too but like otherwise this bracelet everyone likes it okay i'm like are you looking at my wrist like you know how some people are like hey eyes up here like not not at my chest okay well i don't have a chest so i, I feel like they're probably just looking at my diamond tennis bracelet but anyway this one is so worth it you guys it is like the prettiest bracelet look at the way it just glistens and even from the side if you're gonna save all your money to spend one item like i'm sorry it has to be this tennis bracelet it is just too good the second item is the boyfriend chain bracelet this one comes as no surprise you guys absolutely know i love this collection of the boyfriend chain i have nothing but good things to say about it it is such a simple yet dainty piece to own and then the last one just to mimic the necklace version this is the serpentine bracelet it honestly does go with anything oh my god even my bruise it goes with my bruise as well it makes my bruise a little prettier see look at that but anyway, it is just liquid gold on your wrist. It is so pretty. I highly, highly, highly recommend this serpentine bracelet. And yeah, so I would say that if I had to pick one item from each category, oh my God, this is like Sophie's choice. And I've never even watched that show or movie. The ring that I would recommend if you had to get it during this Black Friday, would have to be this one, definitely. The Pave Diamond Charlotte Ring. It is too good. You can wear it on its own. It doesn't look lonely when you wear it because I feel like some of the items, if the ring is a little too dainty, sometimes it looks like it's lonely. Sometimes it looks like, you know, it needs a partner or like it's missing family or something like that. This one can hold its own. This is like the strong independent woman vibes, you know? Everyone will compliment you on this ring. Like you have to get this ring. Next up for necklace. <sighs> Honestly, this is so hard, but I really have to think longevity and the one that I just don't think will age and you will just never regret is the large diamond necklace like this one it will literally go with everything it will never age a day like you will be wearing this even when you're 150 when Elon Musk invents some technology for us to live that long you will still be wearing this necklace. I have to think longevity because a lot of these other items might not be stylish anymore, but that necklace, I'm telling you, will last till the end of time. Next category, we're on to earrings. Oh, earrings are so hard. Okay, so when it comes to earrings, 
I would have said the large diamond studs because obviously it's timeless or whatever, but to be honest, the one that takes the winning prize is probably the Lynx earring, these ones right here. And the reason why these ones went over the diamond ones is because I also don't see this style ever expiring to be honest and then the other thing is because you can wear it two ways so you're almost getting two earrings from this one purchase so it is hard for me to not recommend these earrings so that's going to be my short list of earrings when it comes to bracelet i feel like this one is no surprise a diamond tennis bracelet like honestly hands down i don't care the diamonds have never come off also like i just want to say i've had it for over a year i wear it practically every single day and it is in perfect condition so if you guys are ever wondering if it fell off or whatever no it is in perfect condition that's the one bracelet you have to get. I'm sorry. Like I, I do not, I do not regret saying that at all. Like I know it's pricey, but you're going to thank me. And yeah, that is pretty much my short list. Another thing I want to say though, is that all the items that I did recommend, none of them have ever given me problems. So I know a lot of you, I get a lot of questions on my Instagram of you guys going like, do the diamonds come off? Like blah, blah, blah. Does it scratch really easily? If it does, it would not have made this list because it would not have been worth it for me to have, to narrow it down and make this cut. So rest assured, all of the items, even if I don't like go out of my way to say it, all the items that I've mentioned today have never given me problems which is why for the haul I don't like review it and I do take time to review the jewelry pieces each month because if it doesn't make the cut it just like won't make the cut all the products I do mention last the test of time mostly also because it's solid gold so a lot of these have never given me problems anyway that is pretty much the video for today if you guys are into more majuri content make sure you watch my other videos and if you guys want to see my entire majuri collection so you can see why this was a short list because i do have a large majuri collection you can check out my website lisaway.com slash majuri i hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching bye